Hi YouTube, Folio Society reviewer here today to showcase Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and a Scanner Darkly? Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and a Scanner Darkly are two of Philip K. Dick's most celebrated novels. In this Folio Society Collector's Edition, these classics of dystopian science fiction are presented in a mind-bending format. There are two illustrators, two separate covers, and one spectacular book. In Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, the Earth has been poisoned by war, populated only by those doomed by contamination or too poor to move to Mars. Rick Deckard is a bounty hunter tasked with retiring illegal androids, so indistinguishable from humans that only an empathy test can root them out. When a gang of Nexus 6 models escapes their colony and hides on Earth, Deckard must track them down before they retire him. Well, his own understanding of what is real and what is fake is thrown into question. Published over a decade later, psychedelic cult favorite A Scanner Darkly follows narcotics cop Fred as he goes undercover to bring down the dealers of a lethal new drug called Substance D. It's dangerous work requiring Fred to become a user himself, but with his high-tech scramble suit, his identity is safe. Not even his colleagues know who he really is. As the drug does its insidious work, Fred is caught in an increasingly complex web of paranoia, multiple identities, and double crosses, made all the more nightmarish by a series of reality-shattering illusions. Who are his friends? Who are his enemies? And ultimately, who is Fred? Production details on this are it is quarter-bound in block cloth with paper sides, set in Mentor with Neptune display, has 488 pages, 12 full-page color integrated illustrations, and one double-page spread color illustration by both artists that they collaborated on. It has a plain slipcase, measures 10 inches by 6 and 3 quarters inches. So let's go ahead and jump into this great book and this great edition by the Folio Society. You'll see it has a standard red slipcase. It is a nice thickness to it. So nothing special about it, but it is a nice sturdy slipcase. Now the book itself, if you take a peek at it, you'll just see this really cool cover of the sheep. This is obviously Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and the cover for it. You can just see the details in that illustration on the cover. Now the colors are a little bit kind of washed out a little bit. Um, they don't really pop, they're not bright. Uh, but then it contrasts with the spine, which is much brighter. So you'll see the spine, you'll see an upside down Folio Society logo here. That's because when you flip the book over, you will get the opposite story, the a Scanner Darkly story. So if I was holding the book this way, I'd be reading Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. It has a nice soft cloth to it there, and you can see the author's name. And then down here, like I said before, if you flip it over, you will get the opposite story, a Scanner Darkly and you'll see the, the Folio Society logo there as well. So just to see how that looks flipped over, you can see that's what it looks like. Now the cover for Scanner Darkly is right here. And I will say um, on the Folio Society site, the cover definitely looks like a little bit of a brighter blue to me. Um, that may just be my screen re resolution. But when you get this in person, um, the cover is darker than you will expect. And, and even the camera is making it look brighter. In, in my hand, when I look away from the camera, it is, it's a darker blue. So it's a very dark cover, a dark blue to it, like a navy blue. But I, I really love this cover. I, and I uh, was debating which illustrator I like more in this edition. And I have a really hard time deciding um, which one I would pick. I, I think they both were great together. This was a great collaborative effort by them. So I do love this cover and the cockroaches just crawling on his head there. So it's tough to pick. It's tough to pick which one I would say is my favorite. So let's go ahead and since I'm already turned this way, let's go ahead and look at A Scanner Darkly and the illustrations for that. So looking inside, you'll see it has just the, uh, the green M papers the other side is red in papers like the slipcase. And there is our title page, a scanner darkly. And our illustration. And I believe um, Andrew Archer, the illustrator, I believe this is his only color illustration in the book. 
I think he did an excellent job on it. I was thinking I would for sure like Chris Skinner's illustrations more, but the more I looked at it, I, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning a little bit towards Andrew Archer's. His were really great too. So it is printed on Condat matte paper in Italy. And one thing you'll want to know about the paper, it is a very thick paper, which is very nice. It feels like it's a high quality paper, but it is also on a white, a very white paper. It's um, not off white in any way. And it's slightly glossy, but I don't feel like it's that bad. I'm, I mean, this is in the light right now, the sunlight and coming through my, my kitchen window. So um, I don't feel like the gloss um, is a bad thing. I don't think it's bad at all, but I probably prefer off-white paper, but I don't know. I, I like this too. I think it, they did a great job with it. So here's an uh, introduction on Philip K. Dick and Andrew Archer. And you get an author's note for Scanner Darkly there. No custom introduction, which was a bit of a bummer for me, and no custom end papers. That was definitely a, a bit of a bummer. So there's your chapter uh, display there. And let's jump into the illustrations now. So and that is a great illustration by Mr. Archer. Just did a great job. So very cool. Let's get to our next one. And hopefully I don't skip any. I, I mark these pages so I don't, but very cool. Now this paper does have a little bit of an off-white to it, the illustration paper that he did compared to the text. You can see the text is laid out really well. It's a nice size. incredible detail in his illustrations. I really like this one. Many movies were influ influenced by these stories, many sci-fi movies, um, especially Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? The movie Blade Runner is based off of that story and you'll if you've seen the movie Blade Runner you'll be able to see the illustrations and probably make that connection to it. So here's the collaborative illustration and you can see this is Archer's um, side of it over here. And that purple is just I marked it. And then when you flip it over you get Skinner's. And I like how they both did that. It's like the illustrator did a little bit maybe over here and then over here is the white, a really cool illustration. Very futuristic. All right, so let's start at the beginning of Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And let's look at those illustrations. So there's that red paper this time for this story which is a nice touch how they, they did different colors for each story. You can just see the details in the illustrations. Really cool, the shadowing and everything. This is one of my favorites of his. And there he is, Chris Skinner. And get the same introduction, the same one. Introduction to the author and the illustrator. And there we go. So let's jump in. All right. Now, if you've seen Blade Runner, you'll recognize this. This is a pretty famous scene from the movie. So, and also another one of my favorite illustrations. Let's get a good look up close. Very cool. Sorry for the shaky camera. Very cool. You can see the see it going through the, the Android. And 
have skipped one. Let me go back. Yes, I did. You can see a little bit of a glossy glare on that, but it doesn't really bother me. I don't feel like it's high gloss on the paper. And it is nice that it's extra thick. I see the smoke coming out, that's cool. And then back to the collaborative. So this is a great book, guys. Um, I think it retails for around $115 US on the Folio Society site. And for having cloth and two custom illustrators, two stories in one, it really is a great addition. It's if you're a sci-fi fan, you're gonna wanna pick this up. You're not gonna find it on the secondhand market very often because people that collect these, they wanna keep them. The sci-fi stuff is really hot and uh, nobody wants to get rid of it. Once they own it, they love it and they keep it on them sh their shelves. If you do purchase based off of this showcase, please come back and comment and just said, hey, this showcase helped me purchase. I really appreciate that. Um, and subscribe as well. I'd probably give this one a uh, four out of five stars for Folio Society standards. Um, you know, five star being like the edition of Dune they've done. The edition of Dune is just spectacular. So um, this is like a four out of five for me. It, it didn't have custom end papers, but other than that, um, and then the, the paper being white and a little bit glossy, um, it kind of knocks it back a little bit, but I guess I didn't really mind it too much. But hey, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.